Hey, this is my goal, and this is how I'm going to accomplish it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a new video for you guys. And in today's video, I'm gonna talk about how I stay motivated in general and through those days when I have really low energy. Some of you guys asked me to do a video on this on Snapchat and on Instagram. So I decided, why not? I think I did one of these before. So if I remember, I'll link the old one in the description box below. But if you'll like to see how I stay motivated in general day to day or when I'm having low energy, and what are my tips for you guys, then please stay tuned and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, and Twitter. Turn on your post notifications, follow me on TikTok, and let's get right into the video. Yeah, this was actually a Talks with Ken. This was actually episode three. So I guess I'm doing a an updated one. And you know what's so crazy? I just realized this because I just went to check. I have a similar eye look. To, actually, I have like the almost exact same eye look that I had in that one. What? My net worth? Who knows this? Hold on. I just seen this video. Bro, nobody knows any of that information. That's so strange. But anyway, I'm going to save this video because I actually want to watch it later and see who the heck? So, <clears throat> how I stay motivated. Nowadays, motivation has been a little bit different for me because as you guys have seen, I've been update uploading almost every single day on YouTube. Actually, every single day. I just missed one day and it feels like I missed a whole month or something, which is the feeling that I actually wanted to get because I wasn't consistent at all. As you guys know, my YouTube, that's the one thing I struggled with and that's the most important thing is consistency especially on social media so yeah i kind of wanted to get to the feeling of where i would feel really bad for not, get, not getting at least one video up every day so i've been uploading every single day and that's been a whole different kind of motivation one that i haven't had in the past due to a lot of other circumstances but um i'm here to talk to you guys how i have been staying motivated to not only stay consistent on youtube but also across all social media platforms and how to stay up up on everything and kind of just motivated every single day i think what prompted you guys to ask me this on snapchat especially was that i am always on snapchat now like every day i have been on snapchat and so you guys see how my energy is from day to day and how I stay like uplifted and stuff like that. So I think that's what prompted you guys to ask me that. So I'm here to share my tips and stuff and how I personally stay motivated and hopefully it can help you guys. So my very first one is to write out your goals and know what you want. You have to know what you want and how how you're going to obtain it. So for me, for, me, for example, my goal is I really want to get to a million on YouTube, but we're going to take it as one step, one step at a time. I need to get to 50K and then to 100K. I really want to get to 100K within the next couple of months. So how I remember that is just remembering that I'm kind of close. I'm not too far away. And the more I go, I see how my YouTube channel is growing through my analytics and stuff. So yeah, that's how I stay motivated is to remind myself what my goals are and what's going to get me there. And if my steps to get there aren't what I'm doing right now, then I know I need to stay like on track. It just keeps me focused. So it's really, really important to just know what you want and how you're going to accomplish it. Like write down, hey, this is my goal and this is how I'm going to accomplish it. And then you have to just keep reminding yourself of that goal and why you're doing what you're doing. Another thing is, that leads me to my second um, tip is to, you have to set up reminders for yourself. Whether that is reminders on your phone, like alarms or just like simple reminders. Um, one thing that I used to do that I haven't done in a while is to put post-it notes up everywhere. Put it in your mirror, in your bathroom, when you're getting ready in the morning. Um, wherever you look first when you wake up, maybe you want to put one on your phone. Whatever it is, like I used to put post-it notes just about any and everywhere just to remind me of like, oh, yeah, that's right. Now I use, if you guys have seen, my skincare fridge is a whiteboard and I use my whiteboard as a reminder of whatever I feel like I need at the moment, at the time, or whatever it is. 
So you definitely want to keep reminding yourself because we we tend to forget we're human. You want to keep reminding yourself whether it's a motivational quote, an inspirational quote, or just something that you tell yourself to keep going. Even just the words keep going or keep on keeping on. Whatever it is, it could be cheesy, it could be in depth. Just remember, you have to keep those reminders going because that's just going to help you. Another thing is social media wise you definitely want to follow content and people who are inspiring you and who are motivating you you definitely want to follow those contents not the ones that make you feel away even if it makes you feel away because from a bad like let's say okay i'm feeling a little bit like jealous like this person has all of these things and i don't have it well just take the time to heal you can unfollow and then follow them back later take the time to heal and just go back to it you know what i mean like you can unfollow people on social media social media is not real life and i know some people feel like really strongly about following certain people on social media but it really isn't that deep if you need to take a break from following certain people because they're triggers for whatever reason then just do that um, it's really not a big deal. You have to make sure that the content that you're following and the people that you're following are actually motivating you in some way or there's a reason why you're following them. For me, I really love Bretman Rock. I feel like Bretman Rock makes me laugh every single day. He posts every single day on his Instagram stories and I'm always laughing with him and he keeps me motivated because he's always doing something and I love feeling busy and always having something to do. Like it might feel tiring sometimes and I might drain myself out as you have seen. I had to take a break from Wine Chat Wednesday, but it's so fun and it's so like, that's what keeps me going. I really love being busy and making sure that I am doing something productive and being productive so and even if it's not productive at least I have something on my schedule you know what I mean like at least it's something to do and so Brett Rock is definitely one of those people for me you want to find those people for you or even if it is like um, inspirational like some people have pages on Instagram for example that are just motivational and inspirational quotes follow those kinds of pages if you think that is gonna help you keep you going help you keep you going and <laughs> follow those pages those pages are always super duper dope to um, follow another thing is to remember your why um, I think this is one of the most important things because if you remember why you're why you started and why you're doing what you're doing today like right now I have a whole setup I do my makeup and everything and I am filming why because I have a goal of getting to a hundred thousand or a million subscribers that is something that i have to keep reminding myself that i'm not doing this just because of what what whatever reason i'm doing this for a purpose i have a goal and i think about what helps me too is i think about how i'm gonna feel when i accomplish that goal in that same breath i also remind myself of every of things that i have accomplished and it just reminds me that i can accomplish things that i put my things that i set my mind to so I'm doing this because I have a goal and that's my why. And also I remember writing a whole list of my whys and my whys include my family right now. I want to not only like push myself forward and level up in life, but I also want to go back and help my entire family. Like I want my entire family to succeed in everything that they do because I hold my family near and dear to my heart. Obviously they're my family members and it's a really like i have a really like intimate small family and they are my wives for sure not only like them but also my future kids my future family and stuff like that like i want to do good for them so like that when in the future i can have all the time that i want and that's also one of my goals is like for my future kids i want to make sure that i have a bunch of free time like that is not um feasible or tangible for everybody but for me that's always been a thing that i wanted to personally do so that is something that i'm working towards and that is another why for me and these are just examples for you guys like it might not be the same thing for you guys but these are just examples that i have on like my why like why do i do what i do every day and when it comes to working and um doing things is because i love to do it and i want financial freedom which is what a lot of people want because financial freedom gives you time another thing that goes along with your reminders and all of that stuff is to always remind yourself of what's going right something that always has helped me and i haven't done this in a while actually is to write a list of things that you have accomplished things that you have done well 
and if you're not in a good mood and you're feeling really low this might not be the best time to write that list you guys write that list when you are feeling good because that's when you're gonna realize like I actually did accomplish a lot of things even if it's something that you might feel like it's small right now you still did it you know what I mean like it's still your story it's still part of your experience and stuff like that so write what you did accomplish and it can be anything like it can be you told yourself you were gonna read like two books this year then just write that down or you told yourself that you were gonna get a promotion promotion at work and you did that you told yourself that if you're consecrated you told yourself you were gonna take two pictures or whatever like film one video write that down it can be anything but also make sure that you are writing like the harder hitting goals like let's say you graduated from high school or whatever it is like just write down everything that you did accomplish and focus on what is going good in your life when you focus on those things um you're going to create more of that good to come into your life and something for me personally that helps me and reminds me to keep going and allows me to focus on the good is when i see one of you guys' comments that says yo i love that you've been for example, this month and well, last month and everything, I was receiving a bunch of compliments on just um, content and like, oh, I see that you're grinding. I see that you are creating a lot of content. That's dope. Keep it up. All those kinds of things is very like inspiring and motivating to me. That's what keeps me going. I focus on like, okay, I'm doing something, you know, I haven't reached my goal yet, but at least people see that I am working towards it and I feel good because I am working towards it every single day. So yeah, you just have to remind yourself of what is going good and what you did accomplish because you did accomplish some things. You probably don't see it all the time, but you did accomplish some things. And even if you just honestly, you made it past 2020, you accomplished a lot. That's how I feel. So now I'm gonna switch gears a little bit and talk about how I stay motivated when my energy is low. It doesn't happen too often because as I told you guys in one of my previous videos, I don't necessarily have low moment days, low energy days anymore. I kind of just have moments in, in the days. Like I'll just have like, okay, I, honestly it can go from one hour to a couple of hours. It can go from like one hour to like, let's say five, six hours of just like a little bit of low energy and I'm probably not being productive or just kind of sulking and whatever. But I do allow myself the time and then I'm like, okay, I really have to get work done. You know, I have things on my to-do list and I have to get these things done. And then I'll switch gears into doing those things. And how I stay motivated when those things happen is, it really just depends on what it is, right? So if it's something that I can solve, like let's say, I, okay, this is kind of like silly, but let's say I'm really not happy about how my hair is looking right now. I feel like unmotivated right now because my hair is just looking crazy and blah 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 then i'll do something to solve it i'll come up with a hairstyle i'll look up a hairstyle that i can possibly do right now or i'll go and wash it maybe it'll look better whatever it is that i have to do for myself to feel better if there's a solution for it then i'll find the solution if there's not a solution for it and it's more of a like a long story type of thing then i'll just try to change my perception if that is available to me it that's why i say it depends on what it is because like let's say for example when i was grieving there was just nothing like i changing my perception worked on some days and then it didn't but that's a whole nother thing that is just like that's when you kind of just have to just feel it out and go day by day kind of thing so depending on what it is solve it or change your perception on it because sometimes we think of things in such a negative way and i'm not talking about like the deeper things i'm talking about just a little bit of like the surface surface things um we'll think about it in such a deeper way when it really could be seen in another way and even some people if you talk to somebody they might see it in a whole different light and try to encourage you and um, help to see you in a different light perception really is everything you guys like if you change your mind about something all of a sudden you see it in a different light and that is the truth of it i'm telling you to try it with anything when my mood is feeling like low and when i have really low energy and i really can't get out of it i understand that moods and feelings are temporary and when you're in that moment it's hard for you to see that because it's just like, no, this is like right now. It's really hard for you to think outside the box when you are going through something right then and there. But when you are not going through it, you, you just have to kind of teach yourself this so that when you are going through it, you can remember these things. Um, and that's why reminders are so important. 
But when I am going through those things, I understand that moods and feelings are temporary. And I just kind of think about how I'm going to feel later. If I'm feeling low right now, like if I have really low energy right now and I don't get work done, is that going to make me feel better later or is that going to make me feel worse? Most of the time, like 99.9% .9 of the time, it makes me feel worse because just like, dang, and I didn't get any work done. Like I was already feeling crappy and I didn't get anything done and I didn't do this and that was part of my goal like this is my goal and I just let myself down like the worst thing you can do is let yourself down like yes you'll let other people down in your life because you're not perfect and people around you are not perfect but letting yourself down is one of the things that is like hard to get out of so that's what I kind of just remind myself is like I'm not gonna be proud of this later like I'm gonna be so mad at myself later so that's definitely one of the things that even when my mood is low, when my energy is low, I'm just gonna be so upset later because I didn't get this done. And I've had those days, like I've had days where, you know, I'm not feeling good about whatever it is, um, anything. Like I'm just not feeling well and I'm not feeling good mentally and certain things are bothering me and I'm just like, I'm not gonna feel good if I don't get work done. And I'll allow myself time to process it. I'll do whatever I have to do. Usually yoga and meditation and a little bit of journaling, probably even a music session or two, help me get through it. And then I'm able to refocus my energy. If not, something will change my mood. Maybe looking at somebody's content that inspires me or something like that, I'll help myself change my mood. Listen to better music because music is a big thing for me. I'll change, if I'm listening to too much R&B, then I'll change it. Cause R&B, I love R&B, but it gets you in your feelings a lot. So like little things like that, you won't realize like what's really, um, probably making you feel that way maybe you had a dream and you woke up on the wrong side of the bed kind of thing uh because you had like a negative dream or something like all of those things are things that do affect your mood so it's important to not only remind yourself and keep yourself in constant reminders but also just remember how you would feel if you weren't motivated to at least do something it's just like okay this is gonna get me to this i have to grind i have to grind because i want this and if you really, really want something, then it's not gonna be hard for you to stay motivated. And that leads me to my final point, is that whatever it is that you're trying to stay motivated about, whether that's working out because you want to get um, your dream body, or that's grinding and working really hard because you want financial freedom, or that's practicing makeup, or whatever it is because you wanna get better at Whatever it is, you have to love and be passionate about what you're doing because if you're not passionate and loving what you're doing, then it's going to be hard to get motivated about it. Sometimes you do lack motivation and stuff and your passion has to push you through. Your determination has, you push, has to push you through and your perception has to push, push you through. And you have to just understand that what you're feeling right now is temporary, but the results of what you're doing right now might not be temporary. Like, let's say I'm feeling really low and I talk to somebody and I say something that hurts their feelings, then that's not temporary, you know? Like, those words are permanent. You can't take that back. That's why it's so important to remember to not do anything that's going to permanently affect you or anybody else around you when you are feeling really low and you have really low energy that's why i just kind of like stay in my bubble figure it out and then i'm like i'm ready to talk to you <laughs> but yeah that's pretty much it just be sure to be passionate about what it is you're doing if you can't find the motivation then maybe you're not passionate about it maybe it's not what you want and it's something else that it's a reason why you're feeling like you probably have to do it and you probably really don't want it it's really not hard to find motivation when you are doing something that you are passionate about and you don't have to do anything that the next person is doing because sometimes we do get influenced to the point of like, oh, I'm going to do this because this seems easy and this person is living like how I would like to live and stuff, but you're not passionate about it and that's not your path. So it's going to be hard for you to get motivated and to continue doing what you're doing. So that's what I'm saying. You really have to love and be passionate about what you're doing. And now I'm going to end this video before I start getting repetitive. Um, I hope I hit some points. I'm actually, after I just filmed this, I'm going to go look at my old video about staying motivated and see. Um, I'm going to try my best to really remember to link that one down below. But if not, I'll definitely put a card up here, I think. 
um, for you guys to check it out. It was another one of my Ken socks. I am going to actually label this as a Ken check because it kind of is. It's a Ken check or Ken talk. It's a Ken talks. But yeah, I hope you guys stay motivated and stay up and stay productive and stay happy. That's really the goal is to just have more happy moments than anything else. At least that's my goal. I hope that's your goal because this life is not guaranteed and all that stuff. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, and Twitter. Turn on your post notifications. Follow me on TikTok. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!